Hi guys, how are you? My name is Carolina. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you're here looking for some choreography, I am going to be posting them as soon as I get the okay from my doctor to start exercising again. I just had a baby. Well, just now, today actually, he just completed two months old, right? My baby, he's here with me. He's like on the floor on the little mat. Uh, while well, I did this video, so if you hear something on the background, that's him. Um, and as you can tell by the title, I just wanted to share with you some things that sounds very, very obvious that you need when you have a newborn. But um, when I was doing my registry, I was so excited about like fun outfits and things that were cute, cute and stuff. Um, oh, God bless you! <laughs> and um, I actually didn't have the basic of the basic on me and I needed to go online and order a ton of stuff after I brought the baby home when I started to realize that whatever I had was definitely not enough. So uh, that being said, uh, my baby gear essentials. Um, and again, like he was born in October, so maybe it's it might be different if you have a summer baby. But this is what I needed from my experience. Um, number one, newborn white long sleeves onesies. You're like, oh my gosh, that's so obvious. I was like, yes, it's obvious. But um, when I was pregnant, um, the doctors were measuring him and seemed like it was going to be a nine pound baby. So a lot of people told me don't buy too many newborn things because he, he was going to grow out of them very fast, so I just didn't. I was like, ah, oh, whatever, for one or two weeks he can wear something that looks a little bigger. He was born when I was 39, month, 39 weeks pregnant, um, and he was eight pounds, four ounces, but then he lost weight, and he actually took a little while to get back to his birth weight. So I definitely needed to go online and order some onesies. So I have them here. It's literally the very plain ones, uh, tiny, newborn white onesies again like i need the long sleeves if you're in the summertime maybe you don't want to get long sleeves you're gonna get short sleeves but get i say buy like because they usually come in packs like three of three or four get two packs get like six or eight uh that's being like the minimum of the minimum the basic of the basic because they and they get wet and then you're gonna change them they make a mess and something gets in there and you don't and you want to change them um, and you go through so much clothes it's absolutely insane so get a few of these um, depending on you know what time you're gonna have your baby you know decide what you know length of streets you, length of sleeves you want to have but definitely get some white newborn onesies. And again, he was born eight pounds, four ounces, which is really good sized baby. And he still wore this, he's still wearing it. And he just turned two months today. He's about 10 something pounds now. We're gonna go to the doctor. We're gonna go to the doctor next week and we're gonna check, right baby? I'm gonna show him to you later. All right, so this is my number one. So definitely get those onesies. I did not have them and I need to go get some. All right, now newborn long sleeves kimono shirts. These are the kimono shirts, see? I actually have a few of those. Uh, newborn are sizes, these ones are Carter's. I, you know, I didn't look for anything too crazy. I bought them at Amazon. They have those flop things so you can uh, put it over their hands. Uh, when they're born and for a little while, their their nails are super thin. It's very hard to file or cut them and they scratch themselves a lot. So these are good for that. Um, and the onesies, they also had that. But anyways, the kimono shirts, why kimono shirts? Because with their belly button, um, you don't want nothing like when you bring them home, they're going to still have that, you know, that belly button thing um, hanging there and you don't want anything um, rubbing on it. So the kimono shirts are awesome for during the day because um, they can, you know, they can still be warm and nice and warm and then you put just pants or nothing, you know, or just um, underwear or oh, diapers, <laughs> not underwear yet. And then you wear the kimono shirts and nothing is like really rubbing against their belly button. So make sure to get a few of those. I have three um, white ones and then I have 
um, a pack, I bought a pack online too, that came with these. I think it's a gray one, this blue, another blue, and a green one. So it came in a pack. So I have four, five, six, seven of these. Um, and now that he doesn't have the belly button, I mean, just to wear these with pants is kind of a, a pain because these keep coming, going up and you know the belly sticks out and when the belly buttons are fine you don't want their bellies sticking out but what I do now and actually that's what he's wearing today that's funny I just put a onesie and then as an extra layer I put these on top so it's actually really cute and then you have two layers you're not too hot uh, for inside the house but then um, you know not too cold it's, it's perfect it's like two layers um, to thinner layers, it's very comfortable for him during the uh, to hang around the house. Um, okay, so onesies, basic onesies, please, please buy them. And some kimono shirts. And then I have a list here. My next item is newborn pants. Oh, really? Yes, really, because again, I did not have newborn pants and he didn't fit in anything. I was just having, uh, I just had like the one piece and none of his uh, pants fit. These ones are not newborn. Maybe they are. I don't know. Um, I know I already put away two newborn pants that my mother-in-law needed to go out and get for me because no pants fit him at all. Um, everything was so big. So make sure to buy, you know, when you go to get your newborn stuff, buy the newborn pants. Now, um, that being said, um, don't wash everything you have. I mean, before the baby wears, you definitely want to wash, you know, the baby clothes. But don't wash everything because for some reason they're going to be like, you're going to have like a 9, 10 pound baby. It's not going to fit in these anymore. Um, you can return them. At least here in the U.S., there's not really a problem when you want to return stuff. You have been so good. You have been so good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next item are newborn foot pajamas. Okay. So... I must say that I tried a few and these are my favorite. This is again, like this is not a newborn, but now he wears this because it can fit. I bought this online this, and I mean, this is my, one of my favorite uh, footsie pajamas. So footsie because, you know, at night you want to make sure that their feet is nice, are nice and, and hot. Um, these are easy because they have the, it's like the snap thingies. Um, and I love this one. The fabric is awesome. The color is awesome. It feels really good. It's from Petite Limb. Petite Limb online. I mean, I love, love, love these. Um, it's just, just like little elephants and he looks really cute on these colors. And um, I do recommend, um, he still didn't grow out of this one, but whenever I need more pajamas I might go for this brand it's a little more expensive but it's definitely worth it like the fabric's really good it's nice and thick quality is awesome and again the colors are fun um and the other one actually I'm gonna get it okay so I need to show you these um and it's so funny that I'm so excited about footsie pajamas <laughs> for babies but these I'm gonna tell what's the difference looks like a regular footsie pajamas right well these actually I got at Target. It's their, I, I think it's their own brand. It's called Cat and Jack. Cat and Jack. Um, and when he was born again, this is a zero to three. That's all I had. And that's kind of like what he wears actually. So you can tell the difference. Why I need to go run and get newborn against zero to three. Ah, ah, you're talking. Are you talking? Um, so long story short, um, when he was born, he actually went to the NICU. Everything is fine. He didn't need to do anything. I'll get to that in another video. Uh, but anyways, and everybody in, an, in the NICU was absolutely excited about these pajamas because they zip from the bottom up. So usually on onesies, on those kind of pajamas or clothes, the zipper stops here and then you close and that's closed. This one, it stops on the way down. Why is it so exciting? Because when you're gonna change the diaper, you don't need to open the whole thing to change them. You just need to open up until here, get their feet out, do what you, do what you need to do, and close it. Uh-huh. 
Plus, this is their it's a organic line. Um, same thing. The fabric is awesome. The colors are very sweet. Um, they're kind of like unisex. I absolutely love these colors. I'm a very gray, beige person, believe it or not. Um, and so I definitely recommend Cat and Jack from Target. You can definitely order this online if you're in the US. Um, get them, get them. And they come in packs of three and they all match. They're very cute. Okay, so footsie pajamas for your babies. Next on my list is newborn um oh sleeping gowns so there are a few out there and i actually just have one of these and i have one that is a hybrid you can you can leave it open or not but this i don't even know what brand it is this is actually organic brand too and I had on my registry and there's not even a name, nothing. So I can't even, I can't even help you with that. But that's how it looks, literally looks like a nightgown, see? Um, and it's nice to wear at night because same thing, when you are going to change those diapers, you just pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, do what you need to do and bring it down. So it makes your life much easier. So I would say when it's a little uh, not as cold you can do this one when it's a little cooler you can do this one and then when it's cold cold you can do um, a fleece version of these you know they have the snap ones and they have the zipper ones too but it's always good to have if you have a baby through you know like during this the winter time you definitely want to get a fleece one of these these are just uh, organic cotton um, and my last item for this video. Oh, you could oh no. Maybe I'm gonna get him to tell about my next item. Come here, babies. Yeah. You wanna talk to everybody? Do you wanna talk? I'm the only one talking. Say Ma! Oh my god, his hair is crazy because he was laying on his side. Say hi everybody. Say hi. Can you see him? I don't know if the camera's too low. Hi. What? Mommy is talking about your pajamas to her friends. Okay? Okay. All right. So let's see the last item on the list and then I'm gonna hang out with my little munchkin. Uh, my last one is a sleeping bag. I know there's a lot of like sleeping things, but they sleep a lot in the beginning. And it's just, you know, that much easier if you have those things handy. Um, and these are the sleeping bags. So, oh, what? So you can put just a onesie, you know, a short sleeve onesie, a long sleeve onesie underneath. And I, this one I just ordered. It's a little too big for him still. I think this is from Boppy, the brand Boppy and is awesome. Same things like a nightgown, you don't need a blanket because this is a blanket on its own. It's literally um, a sack that you put your baby and they love it. Um, particularly this little guy, see, it's a little big for him, but we're gonna be wearing it soon. So a lot of, um, you actually see a lot of those out there and it was really hard for me to make a decision so before you start buying because there are a lot of like the swaddle blankets and the swaddling ones the ones that ties around and all that I have a friend that she actually let me borrow she had like one of each <laughs> on the market and she let me borrow and to be honest with you this guy he doesn't like to be swaddled much he likes to have his arms out right buddy right buddy he likes to have his arms out. Um, so before you start buying a ton of swaddling blankets, uh, it might not work for you. And if you have a friend that can let you borrow, a, you know, one of those uh, swaddling blankets, um, definitely see if you can use them and see what works for you and for your baby. Um, but I think that's it for me. Oh no, you lost the shoe when I turned you. Oh well. Oh, no, that's here. Um, so anyways, if you have any other items that for you were like a must have for newborn, please 
uh, share that with me. I would love to read your comments. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, subscribe, leave your comment, and I will see you around. Bye.